So as you guys are aware, Florida is trying to strike hard against Disney because Disney really thought that they were special. Disney thinks that they have complete control over their entire area within Florida, and they definitely were getting special treatment because let's be real, Disney was bringing in a lot of money for the state, I imagine, and uh, they definitely didn't want that to stop. Also, Disney has a lot of influence, not only just in the area, but in their content overall that reaches out to the masses across the entire globe. It's not just in the United States, it is the entire globe i'm just being real with you however disney is now apparently striking back at florida's ron DeSantis with two major developments because ron DeSantis is trying to remove disney's special status and they are obviously going to fight against it they're not going to want to give it up very willy-nilly but disney is obviously going to fight as hard as they can so before we get into today's video guys please i'm just going to ask for a favor i'm trying to test out the youtube algorithm we are currently in a suppression moment um it does happen on the channel every now and then where it goes up it goes down it goes up it goes down but ultimately we always come out of it uh, I just want to experiment please if you guys can who are watching this video make sure to like the video right away show the YouTube algorithm you're here you're enjoying it and if the more likes we get I want to see if that helps push the video out or if it keeps it suppressed so I know what to do going forward so try to help me out best you can all right so the article says Disney strikes back at Florida's Ron DeSantis with two major developments the Walt Disney Company is pushing back against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis efforts to revoke its special status with two big developments. So again, Disney uh, currently has a special status with the, within the state of Florida. They always have because of what they were able to provide. Um, they basically have their own freaking state within the state. I mean, Disney is massive. You guys are aware of that. I believe they even have their own zip code. It's quite ridiculous what Disney has been able to do over the last few decades. But again, Disney of today is not the Disney of yesterday. And I know when you go to their parks, this is the funny thing. When you go to their parks, you almost don't see all the woke nonsense that Disney likes to push out in their entertainment. You don't see that stuff, and it's hilarious. You know, I know there is some here and there, and yes, they do make political statements, obviously, here and there, but when you go to the parks, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like regular old Disney, and I think they do that because ultimately they make all of their money from the parks. They don't really make their money from their entertainment sector. They do make a couple of dollars here and there from some movies, but most of them end up bombing, not getting their money back, breaking even barely, or the TV shows get terrible ratings. So the parks are where they make their money so they try to seem like the parks are not being affected by the woke mind virus that is going through disney right now on their entertainment sector but let's see what this article has to say it says florida governor ron DeSantis is facing a new setback in his battle against the Walt Disney Company after the latter fought against his restrictive policies with two major initiatives. For one, according to Inside the Magic, Disney will host the annual Out and Equal Workplace Summit, which describes itself as the largest LGBTQ plus conference in the world. The summit, according to its website, brings together executives, ERG leaders, and members in HR and DEI professionals and experts, all working for LGBTQ plus equality. The convention will occur at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida from September 11 to September 14th. In addition, it was announced last year that Disney World will be hosting this year's annual Gay Day celebration also in September. Okay, I take back what I just said. <laughs> I just I take back what I just said. So apparently, they're going to be hosting a uh, convention for three days regarding uh, LGBTQ equality and DEI, which is diversity, equity, and inclusion bullshit jobs. You know, they call them professionals and experts. They're all fake jobs. Every single one of those things are fake jobs. These HR departments, they all literally serve to just make people's lives miserable and make everybody walk on eggshells at whatever job they're working at. That's all they do. It says, furthermore, per BBC, DeSantis plans to revoke Walt Disney's special district status may be in jeopardy in February. As part of the ongoing feud between DeSantis and Disney, DeSantis signed a bill passed by the Florida State Legislature revoking the self-governing status Disney World has had since its inception in 1971. The law would also require the area to fall under the legal jurisdiction of the state of Florida and would officially abolish the Reedy Creek Improvement District, which Disney has used to run the site since 1967. Instead of dissolving the district, DeSantis announced he would rename it the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, whose board will be picked by the governor rather than disney that i think they really should do that though like disney i don't know how or why 
Disney ever got to a point where it was a self-governing thing. I mean, that is insane to me. I understand, again, how massive Disney World is just as a whole and the influence that Disney has. There is no denying that. I mean, anybody, no matter how much you hate Disney, to deny the level of influence that Disney has had in the past is just being ignorant. But yes, I do agree that Disney is losing their influence over time. They don't have as much influence as they used to. And that's why they are trying so desperately with their streaming content to try to make an impact. But ultimately, I really don't think they're going to be doing that, at least not to the level which they hope. So again, I hope Ron DeSantis does uh, win and manage to take away their special status because the fact that Disney was even treated this way in the first place is a little bit ridiculous to me. So it says Disney cites King Charles III in Florida legal battle. However, the day before the new board was to take control, the Reedy Creek Improvement District and Disney signed an agreement that enacted so-called restrictive covenants, which cite King Charles III. These covenants will limit the Improvement District's governing power over Disney's properties like Disney World. The agreement said that if a perpetual term is deemed invalid, another so-called Royal Lives Clause would be used instead. Now, the board picked by DeSantis says that its authority has been all but neutered due to these restrictive covenants. These Royal Lives Clauses have existed in legal documents since the 1600s, though they are rarely found in the United States. The board has hired lawyers who are currently fighting to resolve the matter. Disney and DeSantis, a high-profile governor, widely expected to throw his hat into the 2024 Republican presidential primaries later this year, have been engaged in a public feud since early 2022. At that point, DeSantis was championing the Florida Parental Rights and Education Act, also known as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Okay, the whole Don't Say Gay Bill, I've made so many videos on that. If you guys go back into the past, you'll see it. But the whole Don't Say Gay Bill thing, I hate that because it was never about that. That entire freaking uh, bill never once said the word gay in it at all. And people are like, oh, it's called the Don't Say Gay Bill. It's so absolutely stupid. It had nothing to do with that. And anybody who read the bill would know that. But again, these are people that are trying to spin what the bill actually was so that people who don't actually do the research regarding bills or any legislator or laws or whatever the case may be will just watch a 10 second TikTok on it, get told to be angry. Angry, and then they're going to go on on their own TikTok and tell everybody else to be angry. It's just, it's a domino effect because they know a lot of people are stupid legally and they don't know a lot of the laws. They don't know how this legislator works. They don't actually read the bill, which is hilarious because I think it was like four pages long. So again, they know that people out there, a lot of the people that follow Disney like religiously, they're never going to take the time to actually do the research into anything they talk about. So they just put it out there, tell people to be emotional and people get emotional. It says, which he signed into law in March 2022, the bill prohibits instruction in public schools regarding sexuality or gender identity, which is not age appropriate for children in grades K through three. DeSantis recently proposed expanding this law to cover students in all grades, including high school seniors. After some silence, which resulted in protests from Disney fans and employees, Disney publicly opposed the bill. It is widely speculated that DeSantis, who has labeled Disney a woke corporation, signed the bill, repealing Disney's world's special status in retaliation for its opposition to the so-called Don't Say Gay bill. Now, the funny thing is, before before I finish, uh, this is hilarious to me because, again, they're like, oh, yeah, uh, people protested. People protested um, at Disney. Disney, right? People protested the, with the go, don't say gay bill and whatnot. Uh, only one person showed up to that protest, literally. It was such a meme. There was people recording it because there was one trans person that showed up to that protest and nobody else showed up at all. So that's the hilarious thing to me. I love to see it. We need to see more uh, fight back against Disney overall. We need to see their influence reduced even more. And honestly, they need to focus on being an entertainment company. Why the hell are you getting into politics? You are not a political company, but apparently they have a political protection and safety measures afforded to them through their status. And I think it needs to be messed with. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.